About a year ago, I was approached by uh, Fran Kennedy from the North Central County Consortium about forming a partnership with Yuba College. So, with the help of B. Espinoza here at the college and our president Kay Adkins, wanted to put something together like this because there is a tremendous need for welders in the industry, and there's a tremendous need to get people back to work. So what we're doing is we're getting we're taking 40 students and we're getting them certified so that when they re-enter the workforce, they'll have training and certifications so they get the jobs that are available. There's about five companies right now that I know are hiring in this area alone for pipe welders, for structural fitters. Uh, and the people to get in the workforce and they're looking for people that have that certification uh, which we are presenting to the students and the opportunity that they're doing. I got into the welding program through the WIA in the college. Um, I didn't come for welding. I came for something else and I stumbled across that last minute. Decided I'd give it a shot before I thought about welding and I wasn't too sure but it was just like an opportunity just to jump on and it sounded too good to be true at first but I figured you know I gave everything every other thing a chance you know so I tried this and everything was true about what they said with the WIA and with the instructors and the people here and the counselors and just everybody around the funding I mean, the tools, the equipment, the whole nine yards was just covered. All you have to do is just show up, participate, and learn, and you can get ahead. I've been welding for going on two years now. I first got interested in welding because I heard that my Aunt Gloria did it when she was younger. And I always looked up to her, and I thought if she could do it, I could do it. And welding is considered a very untraditional job for women, but what most people don't know is that women make better welders than men because of our keen eyesight. We're able to eyeball measurements so much better than men and our steady hand. Um, the WIA program has helped me a whole lot by providing me my safety gear that I need every day. Um, they also help me by providing me bus passes so I have transportation to and from school, which is very helpful because I don't have a car, so getting here every day is kind of a problem. I've taken classes in gas metal arc welding, stick welding, I've picked up some TIG, and I just started flex core. Right now I'm doing structural steel, which is flex core and stick. I recently got my 2G certification in stick welding, and I'm going for my certification in 2G for flex core coming up. My name is Barrington and I'm from Jamaica and I met, my, I met Judy Deck through my wife and I had a passion for welding from back home and when I used to do it back home it was more like a helter skelter type thing and since I, I came into the program, the WIA Uber College program, welding program, I, it was more structured. It was more organized, you know, because you got to be certified and you, 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 you got to have the relevant skills to go out there. So, and this is, a, this is what I always want to do. I really want to excel as a welder all from, from back home. I know I got the opportunity to do that. It's, it's, it's overwhelming. I have the privilege of teaching the WIA welding program here at Yuba College in partnership with the North Central Counties Consortium and I just wanted to say that it's, it's been a privilege. Uh, we started with these students, we started with about 45 students last fall. We started them in a blueprint reading course and a gas metal arc welding course. The students, most when they came in, most of them had not been in school for quite some time. Uh, a lot of them didn't have the confidence uh, to do some of the processes and some of the studying and what we found through the program or what I have found through working with these students is that as we've gone through the, the process uh, their confidence has, you know, they've gained confidence in what they're doing. Uh, most of them are uh, at the stage now where they can analyze their own welds and they just come to me now with saying, hey, I think this and that is wrong, you know, how do I fix that part? Where in the very beginning, they were bringing me every weld time and time again and having no idea what was wrong with that weld. 
So, you know, we've worked on the, the processes and, and keep teaching the, uh, the curriculum that we normally do here at Yuba College. And it's been great to see the growth in the students themselves, both in the confidence and their, their physical ability to weld. I'm a welder at the Yuba College WIA program and I'm a certified welder in sheet metal MIG and I'm working towards getting my certification in stick, MIG, flux core, pipe welding, TIG, and doing a lot of other uh, welding programs. I'm gonna try to get into the automotive. Uh, a lot of the programs here have helped me out a lot because I get to weld and do a lot of hands-on work with the uh, metal. Uh, a lot of my expertise has come from the Yuba College teachers, Dan Turner and Gary Leader. They've helped me out a lot, uh, trying to get my self-esteem better so that it shows in my welds. Me and a couple of my welding friends have been invited to go and uh, work for the Alaska Pipelines welding pipe. And it's a really tough procedure for welding. And we really uh, appreciate the teacher having a pipe class this semester and it's a lot of fun. We get to have a lot of good times. We joke around, we get to weld, we get to fabricate our pieces and do a lot of other pieces of pipe welding like smoking mirrors. What I learned though is I didn't think people would really care. You know what I mean? I thought people would be like, just get in a booth or whatever and read a book and it's like not even like that. You know what I mean? And instructors, they, uh, They've worked really, 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 really well with us. And I'm, I'm surprised, you know, I, I feel like welcome. I feel really welcomed here, you know, from the background I came from. You know, I, I'm not the type of person that just, you know, conversational person. I'm not a people person and kind of, they made me kind of like a people person, you know, different backgrounds, different people, different ages, different races. I mean, everybody just pretty much gets along and helps each other out and it's pretty, pretty cool. The class gets along great. If one person doesn't understand it, there's people around everywhere to ask. And if one, one way that you're doing it isn't working, you can ask somebody and they'll tell you their tricks. The type of job I would like to get down the road is like in a shipbuilding job or in the, the rail yard or even the nuclear power plant, you know. That is where I'd like to aim for because Welding is something that it covers a, a variety and a wide range of, of economic rebuilding. I am looking to, to push the envelope. You know, I come in even on days that ain't my day, you know, if there's a booth, I come out here, if there's an open booth, he'll let me get in. He said, come out here, if there's space, nobody's using it, use it. You know, so I've been coming, I'm scheduled three days a week, but I come five, Monday through Friday when I can. Yeah, everybody gets pretty along real well in the class. We're all pretty good, seem to be pretty good friends. No problems with anybody, and it's, it, we're kind of help out each other. Just, uh, one will have a question, and one of us might be able to help out, figure out what's going on with the, the welding, or give ideas to each other. It's very positive. Uh, instructors are very knowledgeable in their craft. They've basically been self-taught since little. It's one of those hands-on type things. Uh, I've learned a lot that I thought I knew, and I'll hopefully I'll learn more because it's uh, every day is a new experience. I like it. I didn't think I'd really like it too much, but I give it a shot, and I do like it a lot. I think the program is great. <laughs> it is. It's really helpful. There's a tremendous number of jobs from Alaska all the way to the Gulf Coast to the East Coast. We get calls and we see on uh, websites and we see in papers of people just advertising welding jobs all across America. And these are good paying jobs that people can support their families with, they can buy their houses, and you know, they're career style jobs that are available to these students. because my brain's not putting it in sequence like it did the first time. So shorten it up, talk about the college and then they talk about the, okay.
who was in partnership with. Talk about Fran being instrumental, talk about B and K being instrumental. Okay, I'm putting it together in my mind. Just come to workers, learning structural certifications, sheet metal certifications, entering the workforce to fill the... Oh, did you start? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that again. Uh, it's in a partnership with the North County Consor... Uh, North Central County Consortium. Let's start over. That was terrible. Okay. North County... Central. North Central County yeah, Consortium. Tim and Fran, uh, who? Do you want me to redo that one? North Central, Central County, County Consortium. Consortium. need a flat card for you. Yes, I do. You got one? <laughs> I'm serious. I was looking. North County, County. North Central, North Central County Consortium. Ah, oh, see, that's not what I re learned it as. All right. Well, we didn't find it. I just screwed up. Start that one over. Chip with the North County Consortium. You better at it. Though. You better. I can't get it. I cannot get it. Oh. North Central County Consortium. Jeez, how hard can it be? Counties. Counties. I know. I can't remember who I'm working for. <laughs> for the, you know, the Chancellor and the President. I'm just botching this. No, you're doing good. No, I'm not. It's I just said, you know, I said, um, I said, sorry. <laughs> That's just natural, though. Everybody does that. Yeah, it's but not me. Human, That's not me. It's just, you know. Okay, I didn't blink, though. So I got to see. So go ahead and shut it off for just a second. The intro. Do you want me to take it out?